Yo, what's going on my trailblazing nation? The Shooting Star Sheriff is here. And we are here to talk about Season 2, Episode 2-0 of My Hero Academia. And I'm here with, you need no introduction. Go ahead and say what's up. What's up trailblazers? It's great to see you guys again. Taylor is back yet again because you guys know anytime we're talking about my hero, it's always me and him. So man, he's no in- introduction. So if you're if you are happy, if you are glad that I am bringing more My Hero Academia to your goddamn face, go ahead and click the thumbs up for the boy because you know it lets me know that you want to see some more My Hero stuff come to your face, man. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this episode, because actually, this episode was, it, it's building up. It, it's building up for what the future of the series, what, what, what might happen for the future of the series, but just as a whole, just what's going to happen between Izuku and All Might, and their, their, their just kind of relationship, because we know that the, the relationship that these two characters have are a special one. So, Izuku is actually coming back um, from school, from his internship, um with uh with Gran Torino which he lost his hero license so he's just an old man who wants to just eat takoyaki now um and um him and and all the other classmates they're just coming back from you know everything so everyone's just kind of catching up because you know it's been a whole week since they've probably seen anybody and they're just like what have you guys been up to which we did get to see what a lot of them were up to in last week's anime exclusive episode which was really cool because it gives a little bit more, you know, backsight into what happened with everybody. So with like Asui, uh, Jiro, and everybody else, it was really cool to see all that. Um, and Bakugo's hair is evidently permanently like that for, for right now. We don't know how long that'll last. Um, so basically, I, uh, so basically what happens is to kind of get them back into like, you know, into like the school setting. They were like, all right, we're just going to warm you guys up and we're going to do um, a training exercise. And, you know, it's basically it's it's basically find the person in distress. So the first group. So they're all going groups. And the first group is um, it's uh, Saro, um, Izuku, my son. Um, who are the other two people? Who are the other two people? The uh, that pink chick was that. Oh, yeah. Um, I found out she thick AF. <laughs> yeah, she was in it, and also um, there was somebody else. Can't remember. Um, there was a guy with the the tail. Oh yeah, um, Ojiro, Ojiro, the Ojiro, dude, and the... um, and Mina, and Mina. So those were the four. Think... That was the four for the first group. You know, for the distress for the distress signal test. So they're basically in like this this cool like uh you know, abandoned, like, fat, like, like in this cool factory kind of warehouse. There's a whole bunch of things to kind of jump on and climb on, which is really cool. So, Izuku's, Izuku's stretching. This is by far my favorite part of the episode. That's why I'm going into it in detail. And the whole class is like, bro, every time this man uses his quirk, this man blows something out. So, they're like, this man is at a severe disadvantage. And as soon as the race starts, everyone is sprinting off. Everyone's jumping. Sarah's like, "Oh, I got this in the bag. You know, I'm I'm Spider Man. You know, I'm shooting tape out of my arms. We all good. Nobody can. Whoa, what the? F- just passed me. My son, my son. To everybody's surprise, is Spider Manning. Which I, this is why I love the way he uses his quirk. By the way, he is jumping from pole to side. He's like jumping around, and I'm just like. You know, he's like, he's jumping around all mad smooth and stuff. And everyone's like, when the f- did he learn that? <laughs> like, what? He can't, like, when did he get all this control from? And everyone's like, yo, those moves look familiar. And Baku goes, bro, those are my moves. <laughs> he's like, when the f-? He's like, I did nothing all week. And you're telling me this kid got even better? So as, you know, as Bakugo salt intensifies, Izuku, uh, Izuku's really just showing off his new stuff, really. And, um, he does slip up. He doesn't pass the exam, by the way. Um, he doesn't pass the test. But All Might is actually extremely surprised from how much he's grown in just a week. Um, and he does decide to talk to him, and he wants to talk to him later about just, you know, about the quirk and about just you know what's you know the real you know the real secrets and stuff behind the quirk behind his quirk and 
you know, things he should know because he, he is, you know, he is a bearer of, of, of one for all. So after, so after school, he, um, him and All Might sits down and Izuku does know that the air is kind of like, it, things seem, things feel really, really tense right now. And All Might basically goes into a story about how one for all was basically derived from another quirk called all for one which was a quirk that still that stole other people's quirks and it was all in use for and he and that person just had everybody's quirks so which makes sense because it's all for one <laughs> so so basically he goes into the story about basically how one for all and all for one came into fruition and how it's literally been passed down for generations so there could be somebody one day that could take out the person that has all for one and all might thought he he had took that person out and unfortunately he feels unfortunately he has a feeling that that the person is he, that this person is still alive and he is actually the big brain behind the league of villains and everything and it's pretty it gets pretty pretty tense and he's like you know this is gonna be your mission one day like this is gonna be something that's going to be passed down to you you know and izuku he think you know it, it, it is it's a scary thought but he's like you know i can do it as long as i'm with you which all my reluctantly says you know fine but he has he has an inner monologue he's like you know, by the time you get to that point, I won't be able to stand by your side. Um, which throws heavy, heavy um, implications over what's going to happen with All Might in the future of the series. Um, so, I mean, I'm an avid manga fan, so I, I know what's going on. But it really does, really, really does think... Things are definitely gonna get a little bit more tense. I get, I, I believe as far as the All Might and Deku relationship goes. Um, for those of you who haven't read the manga, go ahead and leave your thoughts and your theories about how, what you feel is going to happen to All Might. Um, Cuz, what was your thought on, thoughts on this episode? He better not die. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you just jumped, you just jumped the gun. Yeah. He better not. <laughs> like, bruh, like. The episode was cool. Though. I really liked this episode. It was really like a like you said. It was like a world builder. Um, I think my favorite part was like story time with Uncle All Might. It was it was really enlightening. I just made me just fall back. And then he's just like, "You should tell him All Might." And then he's like, "I'm not gonna tell him." And he's like, "Yeah." By the time you get to that, you I won't be able to. And as soon as he said that, I said he burned up. Die. I think I threw something. <laughs> dog, I like All Might. I don't want dog. <laughs> dog. I, like, I like All Might too. Um, definitely. Also, I mean, I mean, it's it's really cool because one of the things I really wanted to talk about. I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna do a set. I'm probably gonna do a video about this. It's just their relationship in general and why I really like their student teacher relationship. Um, you know, the senpai kohai kind of relationship because I mean it's done in other shonen animes but for and in, in 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 my hero it feels more it feels way more genuine it's not it doesn't ever feel su like cuz most senpai kohai relationships are very superficial so it's just you know one character is like oh I want to be just as good as you I want to aspire to be you which I mean it, it, it that that is still there for All Might and Deku but they definitely feel more as they they definitely feel more like brothers in arms um at times and like it you know and those two actually help each other out you know like all my you know still kind of learns things from from deku and deku still has a world of things to learn from all might um so it's the the, the, the you come to really just love those two characters so which is funny because they don't interact all the time, or they don't get to talk to each other all the time. But when they, but when you do, it's really refreshing because you really love to see these two characters just really just get to be together and get to know one each other. You know, get to know each other a little bit better as people. So that's really all I have. Um, how do you guys feel about 
the Izuku um Toshinori or All Might relationship? Leave your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Um, is there anything else you want to close out with, Cuz? Asui's Bay. Asui's Bay. So uh, also, uh, also, we need to take a second to talk about Midoriya, your son's All Might's face. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. And he was like, if, he was like, I don't. If make that is sense. not your thumbnail, I will punch you. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the greatest face that has ever been made in this show. You know what's funny? He made that face, and almost like, I don't, I don't look like that. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> that, that dog said. Remember when, remember when we first met and I first gave you my powers? He's all serious. And he's just like, what did I say to you? Eat my hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't, I, don't, he's like, I don't sound like that. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> but anyway, that's all the time we have here today for this. Like I said, definitely let me leave your thoughts about this week's episode in the comment section. Do me a huge solid. Go and check out Taylor Made Otaku. He does a whole bunch of awesome anime goodness over there. Unboxings, uh, anime 101. There's a whole bunch of nice little tidbits of anime goodness that you can get over there. So definitely go check him out. Leave him a subscribe. Um, definitely help us out. Show us some. Show him some of that trailblazing love. But guys, until next week, peace out. Peace.